Good morning everyone, it's Kelly here. And today we are gonna be looking at the topic of encouraging others. And so let's face it, it's been a really long nine months of this COVID season that we're in, right? And many of us may be feeling what we call COVID fatigue, which is just being tired of all the restrictions that are placed on us uh, throughout this season. And so as we continue in this journey together, um, we, we just wanted to remind everyone that we are all in this together. And so we figured what better topic to go along with this thought than encouraging those around us. So when we think about encouragement, we can think of the definition of an action of giving someone support, confidence, or hope. And so let's start by taking a look at these three words. So when we think about support, um, this is to give assistance to someone. And so I often think about support through even just the structure of a building. You know, the beams that are part of the structure of buildings, they help the building to stand up straight and to not fall. And so by supporting those around us, we can help ensure that people remain standing um, even when they're going through difficult times. Now next, let's look at confidence. So when we are helping someone to have confidence, we are providing reassurance that the person has the abilities they need to accomplish something. And so, you know, by providing encouragement to those around us, we can help them to have the confidence to know that they have what it takes, no matter what the task is. And then the last one we'll look at is hope. So, you know, we are the center of hope, right? And um, hope is an expectation or desire for something to happen. And so hope can remind us that there is a reason to keep going, um, even when things get really hard. And so many of us might think of encouragement in terms of really big, difficult struggles, like maybe the loss of a family member, uh, maybe a new medical diagnosis, or the loss of a job. But someone once said that if you are living and breathing, you need encouragement. And I really find that to be true. And so some ways that we can encourage those around us is, you know, first we can ask people if they're okay and listen to, the, to um, them as they tell us what's going on. And we can use those active listening skills that we always talk about of, you know, making sure that you're giving good eye contact, being free from distraction, um, nodding in agreement and, um, you know, asking questions to make sure that you understand what they're saying. You know, we can ask people if there's anything that we do can do to help them. We can give people a positive note or card, or, you know, we can even make a positive statement to someone. Um, you know, so we provided you guys with um, a worksheet about encouragement. And so, Let's take today to think about someone in our life who we know might need encouragement. So on your worksheet, you'll see that the first question here is, who is one person I know that needs encouragement? And so a person that I can think of that needs encouragement um, is my sister. And so the next question is, what can I do to encourage that person? And so I would say, um, I think I'm going to write her a positive note um, just telling her that she uh, is doing a great job with um, the students that she's working with and um, just encouraging her to continue to uh, persevere um, as, you know, sometimes things can get hard in working with them. So um, one thing that we want to encourage you guys to do is to make sure that you are encouraging um, the staff that are around you. So whether you, you know, only see staff at program or maybe you have staff at your home, um, the staff around us are really uh, working diligently um, and sometimes just behind the scenes trying to ensure that you have the safest program and safest home as possible. And so um, this COVID time can be really difficult for them as well. And so we would just encourage you to encourage them as well. Uh, just in the fact that they are, you know, doing a good job and to be thanking them um, for the extra work that they're putting in. 
Now, another important thing to think about with encouragement is that we all need encouragement as well, right? Because we can't just be pouring out encouragement to everyone else and forget about ourselves. And so an important thing to think about is, you know, being honest with those around us who we trust when we are struggling or having a hard time, or maybe when we need encouragement in an area of our life. And so that's what the second part of the, the encouragement worksheet is about. The third question, is there anything I need encouragement about? And if yes, who can I ask for encouragement? So we would really um, ask you guys to be identifying trusted people in your life who you can count on to encourage you um, if you are having a difficult time or um, even if it's just an off day, you know, and you need uh, some encouragement to, to really go to those people and be honest with them. So we've provided you guys with this encouragement quote worksheet as well. Um, and it just gives some positive um, reasons to encourage those around us. And so I just wanted to end the video by sharing some of these with you. So the first one is, success isn't just about what you accomplish in your life. It's about what you inspire others to do. Another one says, today will never come again. Be a blessing, be a friend, encourage someone. Take time to care, List, let your words heal and not wound. Another one says, we rise by lifting others. This next one says, keep encouraging because your words may be the only pillars of strength for someone who is pulling themselves up to stand again and lean on. I mean, wow, that's, that's really, you know, uh, a call to encourage, right? Because your words may be the only positive thing that that person is hearing at just at the right moment. Another one, the most precious gift you can give someone is the gift of your time and attention. And then a kind gesture can reach a wound that only compassion can heal. And the last one we put here, your words of encouragement could be the spark that pushes a person forward. So I hope that these quotes kind of give some new meaning to you of why encouragement is just so important. And you know, as we've talked about in the past, you know, we have all been put here for a purpose. And um, you know, we're all where we're supposed to be. And um, by helping and encouraging those around us, um, you know, we can truly continue to make a difference. So we hope that you guys find this information helpful. Uh, we hope that you can encourage your friends, your family members, staff, and that you are honest with those around you about encouragement that you need. So we hope you guys have a great day and look forward to seeing you later.